my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I'm Melissa and I'm gonna show you what we had for dinner this week. And in doing so, I hope that I give you some ideas for your meal planning. If you struggle with trying to come up with new things to make, then hopefully this video will just give you a couple new ideas. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. On Sunday night, we had grilled burgers, and instead of having my burger on a bun, I made two truffles, and that is that was sort of my bun, and then we had it with salad, and I also had a pickle with mine. Sausage and peppers is one of those meals that is when you don't know what else to cook, it's one of those meals that it's just so easy to put together and it always makes my family happy. I typically always have bell pepper, onions, and I just cut those up. I actually bought a zucchini at the store because I wanted to add a little bit of a different veggie to what I was cooking. So I didn't use a whole zucchini because I'm not really a huge zucchini fan but I know I need to eat more vegetables, so I added a little bit. But anyway, I just get my sausage, onion, peppers, and zucchini in a skillet with some oil, and I saute that until the veggies are tender. Also, do you like my apron? My mother-in-law got me this for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. I just think it's so cute. But anyway, I don't really use too much seasoning because, I mean, honestly, the onion and peppers are seasoned enough. So I just use this Cavenders, which I love using. And I also used some pepper and a little bit of garlic because you can't go wrong with garlic. Oh, and I also use some of the Weber's, I think it's Weber's uh, garlic and herbs seasoning, which is another one that I love, roasted garlic and herb. Get all that stirred up and cook it for just a few minutes until they're tender. And while they're cooking, you can see my sous chef in the background, but I'm chopping up the sausage. And this is a green onion sausage that I like to get. I think I get it from Sam's, but anyway, it's a really good smoked sausage. And so I'm just gonna cook the sausage in with the peppers and let all of that get you know nice and cooked um, I want to wait until the bell pepper get really tender I don't like crunchy bell pepper so I cook it until the bell pepper are very tender and I ended up serving this with some of my delicious green beans and I will see if I can find the video where I show you how to make those because they are super good this is a delicious meal this next night we have chili I absolutely love chili. Chili's probably my favorite thing to eat. And it was super, super, super cold this day. So this is the perfect meal. But I've showed you how to make this before. I will find that video and list it in the description box. But I just get the chili on the stove and get it to cooking and serve it up in my bowl. And you can really put anything in your chili that you want. My son loves putting cheese in his, but I just use sour cream and Tabasco. But that was dinner this night. And since it was so cold, it hit the spot. This next night was leftovers night because my son and my husband went to an LSU basketball game. So I had chili again and I absolutely did not mind. I have to work today, so I'm going to start dinner before I leave. And we are having, normally when I make vegetable soup, 
I make it using beef tips, but I don't have any beef tips. Sorry if that's really loud, but um, I don't have any beef tips, so I'm just gonna brown this ground beef. Get it chopped up real good. And I'm using my Instant Pot Dutch Oven. Love this thing, especially for meals like this. I'm gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna have to open that. Add some garlic. I'm gonna get that meat seasoned. And then of course that seasoning will go into the soup. Some onion powder. not going to take long for this to brown, but I'm going to go ahead and brown it and then I'll come back. Alright, I have it browned. I'm going to go ahead and add the onion. I have this seasoning blend. I had some left in the oven and the freezer. So let me get that cooked in there as well as a can of Rotel. I'm not draining it. Let this saute for a couple minutes. All right, so I am finished sauteing this, so I'm gonna cancel. The great thing about this is you can sear and saute, and then you can also turn it on slow cook. So I am going to cook it for uh, seven hours. Start it. Now, I'm gonna add, I have my uh, bag of frozen mixed veggies. I probably won't add everything just because it's just me and my husband. So this is gonna kind of be a small pot. I have some black eyed peas. I love the black eyed peas. So I always put it in my vegetable soup. Love black eyed peas. And normally I use carrots but since I'm trying to eat better, I'm using sweet potatoes, which my husband will love this. I'm just gonna have to get my mindset around the fact that there's still potatoes, because I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes, but it's fine, it'll, it'll work, and my husband will be super happy, because he loves sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to add, instead of beef broth, I'm adding beef consomme. I love beef consomme. It actually has a really good flavor. So I'm adding a can of beef consomme. I'll probably add some more broth to that just because it's not a lot. Then I'm gonna add some brown gravy mix just because I like my soup to be a little thick. Not super thick, but just a little thick. And then I'm gonna, ooh, that was a lot of onion powder. And then some more garlic powder. Some more pepper. And I'm gonna get some more water. All right, about, let's start off with two cups. Two cups of water. I'm gonna add couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce. That mixed up. It looks really good and it looks really pretty too. And then I'm going to add a bay leaf. Get that down in there. And I've got my crock pot set to uh, seven hours So I'm just gonna let that cook All right, I got home from work and the soup is done So I quickly made some cornbread and that's what I served with it But this soup was really good and actually my husband Said he likes it even better than my regular vegetable soup and my son that doesn't like vegetable soup actually tried it and took some for 
lunch for work with him the next day. So there you go. Friday nights are usually our nights to eat out. And so that was what we did this night. We ate at a place called Pluckers, which is a wings place. This was our appetizer and it's called Holy Mac. And basically it's like fried, it's like fried cheese, but it's macaroni and cheese on the inside. It's so good. And then we actually split a plate of boneless wings and waffle fries. Tonight I'm making a chicken cauliflower fried rice. And I will put the recipe in the description box, but I am making it my own. They have you use fresh cauliflower and raw chicken, cooking it all. I'm taking the shortcut. I have some chicken from the freezer, some rotisserie chicken. So I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. And because my chicken is cooked already, I'm just gonna heat it up. So I'm gonna get this stirred together or broken up and um, heat it up. Okay, I have the chicken heated through. So I'm gonna add it to a plate. side and then I'm going to take one egg and I'm going to scramble it right. that done, I'm going to add it to the plate of chicken, sorry, add it to the plate of chicken, then I'm going to add another tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm going to saute my diced onions. And I'm going to saute them until they are translucent. So maybe a couple minutes. So I'm going to get that done. Okay. Now I have some carrots. I'm going to add that to the onions get these now these are frozen so hopefully they won't take as long to cook as raw carrots I'm gonna get these cooking and when I see they're almost done I'm gonna add the garlic because I don't want my garlic to cook too long all right now it calls for me to add the garlic and ginger but I don't have any ginger so that's fine. And two cloves of garlic. So that's about two cloves. That sauteed until the garlic becomes fragrant. All right. Now I'm going to add in my peas. my riced cauliflower, which I'm adding all of that. Soy sauce. And it calls for 
sriracha, but we're out of sriracha, so I'm just gonna add some red pepper flakes. I'm gonna cook this for about two minutes, and then I'm gonna add in the chicken and egg. Ooh, this smells good. It is looking good too. Can't wait to eat. All right, that's been cooking for about two minutes. So now I'm gonna add in the chicken and rice. So I'll just add all the chicken. And then mix it up. And let it cook for another couple minutes and then dinner will be ready this is a very quick and easy meal so great for busy weeknights all right see you in a couple minutes I hope that this gave you some ideas for your meal planning and if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content then make sure to subscribe comment and like and I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family and if you're looking for more recipe ideas then check out the box you see on the screen right now and I'll see you next time bye